Welcome back to Webwise. In this video, we'll discuss the top 5 lightweight state management libraries for React. First on our list is React Hookform. React Hookform is a lightweight and performant framework for handling form states in React. It leverages React hooks to provide a simple API for constructing reusable forms with minimal boilerplate code. With React Hook Form, you can easily manage form validation, error messages, and submit logic. It's an excellent solution for creating sophisticated forms in React apps. Second on our list is Zustand. Zustand Library is a small, fast, and scalable bare-bones state management solution using the simplified black principle. It has gained popularity among React developers as a lightweight and efficient way of handling state in their apps. Zustand is a German word for state. Zustand contains a hook API, so it is very easy to use in React applications. It supports async methods and easily integrates additional middleware like Emir, DevTools, etc. Zustand can also be easily integrated with other state management libraries like Redux and React Context AP. States can be accessed outside of the React components. First, create a store. Your store is a hook. You make a new copy of the data to change something instead of changing the original. The set function makes updating easier by merging changes with existing data. Then bind your components. Use the hook anywhere, no providers are needed. Select your state, and the component will re-render on changes. Third on our list is Recoil. Recoil is a state management library for React applications that helps you manage and share states in a more efficient and predictable way. It was released to the public by a team at Facebook in May 2020 as an alternative to Redux and offers a simpler, more flexible approach to state management. Atoms and selectors are the two main concepts for Recoil. Atoms are discrete units of state that store pieces of state in React. A selector is a derived state that passes the current state to a pure function, which then computes a new value based on that state. In other words, a selector is a state representation derived from a specific computation performed on the original state. You can create, export, and use an atom anywhere in your app, and you use it in the same way that you would use a use state. To use atoms, you will need to utilize a recoil hook, such as use recoil state. Recoil can be used to generate a new state from an atom using selectors. Simply retrieve the values of the atoms that you require in your selector, and whenever the values of those atoms change, the selector will rerun, and the components that use it will re-render and display the new value. To use selectors, you will need to utilize a recoil hook, such as use recoil value. Fourth on our list is React Context API. React Context API is a built-in React library that allows you to share data across components without having to manually send it down the component tree via props. This can make your code more readable and cleaner. You may establish a context with a value, and any component that requires that value can use the use context hook to obtain it. The context API may be used to store a variety of data kinds, including themes, user authentication, and even a shopping cart. Assume we're developing a website that lists a user's top movies. We want to store the movie list and make it available to all components that use it. Using the context API, we can build a movie context to hold the list of movies. First, we'll create a new file called moviecontext.js. In this file, we'll import the createContext function from React and use it to create our context. Next, we'll use a movie provider component with the React Context API to manage the movie list. We'll store the list using useState and fetch it using useEffect. This allows us to access the list across the app without passing it down through the component tree. Lastly, we'll encase our entire app in the movie provider component to make the movie state accessible to all components. Any component that requires access to the list of movies may now use the use context hook to retrieve the information from the movie context. Finally, the fifth on our list is Redux Toolkit. Redux is like a centralized brain for your application that keeps track of the current state of your application and makes it easy to update and access that state from anywhere in your code. It runs in different environments, client, server, and native. Redux Toolkit is like having a personal assistant who takes care of all the small details for you. It provides you with pre-built functions and guidelines that simplify the process of writing Redux code so you can focus on building your application's features instead of worrying about the nitty-gritty details of Redux. Assume you're developing a shopping cart application and need to handle the status of the goods in the cart. 
you may use the Redux Toolkit to define a slice of the state that handles the cart items. Here's some code to get you started. To use this cart slice in your Redux store, you would import it and add it to the Combine Reducers function. Now, to add an item to the cart, you can dispatch the Add Item action. Finally, to display the items in the cart, you can use the Use Selector hook to get the cart state from the Redux store. Thank you for supporting our channel. We recently hit 100 subscribers, which is a tremendous achievement for us. We're excited to keep creating content that you'll enjoy. If you found this video helpful, please show your support by liking and subscribing. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.